Labukeswa, I hope I'm pronouncing her name correctly. Labukeswa officially files for divorce from Letoya Makene. Hello, bro people. I hope you guys are doing well today. Letoya Makene and Labo end their marriage and heading for divorce due to cheating, physical assault, fraud, and other misconduct. The businesswoman confirms the incidents to Sunday World. Letoya scolded Keswa with boiling water bludgeoned her with an ironing boat and also threw a vase at her before damaging furniture and burning down the curtains of their Fontaine marital home. Labo wrote to McKenna's family, revealing reasons she decided to end their marriage. Latoya McKenna cheated on me on two occasions with a Nigerian man, sleeping with him in exchange for drugs hey, boy, guys. Hey. two weeks after latoya cheated with the married man i told her to leave my house and she came to your home in Kladi, soweto only for her to once again cheat with a lesbian woman from our area i have been physically assaulted by latoya on three occasions even burning me with hot water in the process and the only family member i consulted with was her father Blondie McKenna, who asked for forgiveness on her behalf and at the time I stupidly forgave her and did not take any legal steps outside of filing reports with the law. Latoya has destroyed both the homes that we have lived in, breaking windows and burning curtains at my grandmother's home and breaking furniture at our home. This is so crazy you guys because if you have been following the this story or marriage from like last year i think you would know that uh, there were mahemeheme people suggesting that lebo is the one abusive towards letoya so it's so crazy that lebo now is accusing or allegedly accusing label of the same thing so this is so crazy and i think it would be unfair to be judging them or, uh, or, or suggesting that no this one is not abusive the abusive one is this one because I just feel like you can be judging people from social media, right? Anyway, you guys, to comment below and let me know what you guys think about this. At the end of the day, we are happy that they are divorcing. Toxic marriages is not what we are going to promote.